Yo, what's up? In this video, I'll talk about gaming. Actually, me being a gamer. Oh, well, okay. So in my past videos, you might see that I criticize gaming. But, you know, thinking about it, it wasn't entirely bad. You know, I... I don't regret it fully. I only regret about 70... Per no, no. 30% of it. <clears throat> you know, other than that, it was amazing. It, it was good. good. And I'm gonna break down what was good about it and what I regret about it. So, you know, gaming is now very normalized, you know. Back then it wasn't a thing because there weren't things you could play it on consoles and <laughs> the video games were pretty crappy. Like, uh, boring. Not as sophisticated as today, right? But... You know, it it had an impact on the people's psyche, the people's uh, lifestyles. And, you know, for me, it was an escape from the real world because my childhood was really hard to deal with. And this kind of gave me a place where I could uh, feel more in control of things, you know. Everyone's a player, and everyone is sort of equal, right, in the virtual gaming world. And that's one thing that the... I don't know. Yeah, made me kind of feel better about myself. And was an escape to go through that time period, but... Um, yeah... Also, I met, well, the people here, kind of meh. But it also made me feel less lonely and, um, yeah, came across a lot of, like, content, music that I, like, I'm glad that it was a part of my uh, childhood because it's so good. It, like, you know sort of shaped me and helped me with my outlook on the world to be a specific way. You know, gamers have this... I don't know. It depends on the person. But me, as a competitive male, you know, I, I liked the dominance. I liked dominating others. I liked... Um, being better than others and like crushing and just like you know knowing that I'm just better than them it's just in my nature to conquer and you know this gaming thing it sort of abused that you know for me to waste my time but on the other hand I learned to develop myself to better myself you know, whenever I wasn't good enough or was worse than the other person, I, I, I knew that I had to get better to beat them. And then it helped me to, you know, learn to learn. <laughs> you know, find find ways in which I could um, develop myself to be a better player. And that can be translated into the real world easily, you know. You can view the world as a game and you being the player. You improve yourself so you'll play the game better. But sort of like was good in that regard. Yeah, also many uh, understandings on growth and uh, self-management like like when you get on tilt you just shouldn't be playing anymore tilt is a real thing and <laughs> oh, like kind of control your emotions you know and 
energy um energy like uh, uh control or or management <laughs> like you don't expend your energy on the meaningless things because then you won't have energy to use on the things that you need to on the things that need to be done for example if you get mad on someone and you just like you know get angry and waste all your energy on that person then you don't have energy to play anymore to play well anymore uh, so you'll you learn to manage that if you actually are serious about climbing or about getting better as a player you don't expend your energy on the wasteful things um yeah it was good but then the bad side of it was that I spent too much time on it you know I wish I ended with gaming sooner but it is what it is you know this itself might even be another lesson but I still haven't like understood it fully yet wasting time Mm, yeah you know gaming is good if you uh, use it or if you go through it right but as we grow up mm, you know our priorities change and we should understand that gaming is probably holding us back if you're an adult with responsibilities and when something is no longer serving you such as gaming it's time to let it go like for me if I was still gaming it would be holding me back on my vision on the things that I actually wanted to achieve I don't want to have a gaming channel it's it's bad for you it also has its downsides on your psyche. Um, yeah, it's like it's like as if you were drinking every weekend, but at the same time wanted to develop a strong muscular body. You know, alcohol breaks down your muscles, so it's like counterproductive. So this way it's just holding you back from your progress it's illog- illogical you know and same thing with gaming and living your life it's like a tutorial or, or like sandbox <clears throat> but you know when you're gaming you are not living your life to the fullest because um your brain is used to operate in this gaming realm. It's like switching your consciousness in a different realm and in reality. So even if you're not gaming, your subconsciousness is thinking about solving or things about uh, things about the realm of gaming, of the, of the virtual world. So you're not fully content and present. In the reality. Um, So yeah. There was one more thing. But I forgot. Oh my goodness. Uh, Yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It hinders you in your. Real life personal development. When you see all these. Streamers and pro gamers. After their career, they are sort of stuck. They haven't been developing their character in the real life. And they need to catch up a lot. You know. I see this all the time. Um, And it's no fun because we are even... Even the people that are living life and not gaming. 
still have to catch up to their true maturity because we are being hindered by default uh, uh, because the school system is just made that way so yeah a lot of catching up and I had to catch up and I'm still not maturely where I should be and I spent a year and a half Yeah, I I st stopped gaming like recently, a year and a half ago, and then I shifted my mindset of the gaming, you know, world into the real world, and I still haven't caught up. It's crazy, man. A lot of information, a lot of um, behavioral stuff it's a, it's difficult and uh, if you care about your future or, or like you know the rest of your life then you should realize uh, if something is not serving you anymore to develop yourself towards the future that you want you should probably let it go not probably most likely um, yeah, and gaming no longer serves me. It might be okay if I need to, like, learn to focus better, maybe. But only for that. You know, it has a lot of bad things about it. Cons. But that's about it. You know... Overall, overall, I'm okay with it being a gamer. I don't regret it fully, you know. It's a part of me now, but I'm not gonna water it anymore. I'm glad for it, and I'm moving on. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're the best. Yeah, so grind hard, strong and smart.